In old Hawaii, before the gathering of any event, you would first hear the sound of the conch, the blowing of what we call poo, to which after you would hear a chant of welcome, of course, to welcome all visitors to the area. It is also customary after the chant to hear a response from all those visiting the area. Oh. That's pretty good. <laughs> Who told you that? Let's, uh, let's all try it together. Aloha. 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 Beautiful. Welcome one and all to our area of Old Hawaii. We'd also like to welcome you to the Polynesian Culture Center. I'd like to thank each and every one of you for traveling thousands and thousands of miles today from Waikiki. <laughs> Come and see us. It's a nice day today. And I don't know if you know it now, but most of the workers here at the Culture Center are students. Did you know that? Yes. Okay. <laughs> well, anyway, we are students, and uh, we attend the Brigham Young University Hawaii campus. It's located just next door. As students, this is a part-time job for us. It's how we work our way to school. It's no different from any other university. Some students wait on tables. Others deliver pizza. Here we walk around barefooted wearing a skirt. <laughs> That's not a very large school. In fact, uh, it's about 2,000 students. But we have students from all over the world. And that means when you go over to the area of Samoa today, here in the center, you get to meet real Samoans. Or if you travel over to Tonga today in the center, you get to talk with natives from Tonga. Likewise, come visit Hawaii and well, you get to see a bunch of Hawaiians. <laughs> there he is. Stand, standing around. We're all native Hawaiians by chance here in this area, including myself. I'm a real Hawaiian. Yay! Take a picture. <laughs> I am a native Hawaiian, born and raised here on this island of Oahu. Lived here all my life. I introduce myself. My name is Pui Ko'onao Nome Kabai Limo Mikonkea. Oh, Tikli Kiki Highway Smith. Oh. You can call me Bob. We're so glad you could join us here in our area of Hawaii. We welcome you to our presentation house. And in this house, we would like to tell you all about our Hawaiian culture through our Hawaiian dance. Of course, you know it as? Hula. Very good. And so, uh, let us tell you all about our hula. Before we do that, how about a big hand for our hula dancer sitting right here in the front row with the hat on? Hey, hey, hey! Yeah! Hey! <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, I just like doing that. <laughs> we have our dancer right here. Please a warm welcome. This is Lehua. Lehua is a student over at the university. She gets to go to school all morning and then in the afternoon come here and dance hula for all of you. Isn't that nice? Pretty good, huh? And so we'd like to feature her in what we call Kula Kahiko. Everyone say Kula Kahiko. Kula Kahiko. You said that very well. Of course, you know, Kula is our Hawaiian dance. Kahiko means old or ancient. And so Kula Kahiko is our traditional Kula. And what is traditional Kula? It's the style of Kula that was done before European contact. Okay, so of the many hundreds of dances in existence today in the Kahiko style, we'd like to share with you one of the oldest. It is called Noruna Ikahalekai O Kama'ale. Everyone? <laughs> we'll work on that. This dance will take us to the big island of Hawaii. And in this dance, we describe for you during that time period uh, some of the activities going on in a particular area called Kama'aleva. We'll tell you of the things we see and the things we, we hear and even the things that we smell. And this is how the hula works. It, it records history for us in that, in that context. And so we would like to... Um, well, you know, the place that we're speaking about in this dance is near where the active volcano is located today. In fact, this dance honors the volcano god. Does anyone know her name? Pele. Yeah, Pele is correct. Very good. And so we honor the fire goddess and we take you back into time and share with you traditional hula. Again, what we call hula kahiko. I know the name kahale kai o kamaleva.
household work with specific names, which had to be mastered and perfected before you went out in public and performed. Fortunately, Lehua has been dancing hula for many, 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 <laughs> for a long time now. And so we'd like to, with her help, demonstrate to you a few of the basic steps involved in the hula. This first step is called kaholo. And being on an island, when we go to the right or to the left, we always come to the water's edge. We kaholo two steps to the right and two to the left. It reminds us of the vast ocean that surrounds our islands. This next step is called hela. We sit on the beach and watch the waves that move back and forth along the sand. See how she moves her feet back and forth. It reminds us of the changing tides of the ocean. This time her feet resembles the raindrops. We call this step uwehe. As drops of rain falls on the water, splashes occur. Her knees flicking forward reminds us of the subtle splashes of raindrops. As fishermen, we sometimes come upon whirlpools. We call this step ami. Funny, your feet stay still in this step. Your hips move in circles like a whirlpool. As you get towards the center of the whirlpool, the water moves much faster. Likewise, the hips would call the quicker movement pool. And these are just a few of the basic steps in the pool.
It's a sharing, it's an exchange of ha, the breath of life. We consider, in that case, the air from the nose to be a pure air. And that's the air that we use to make a lovely sound like this. Changed the tuning of it, changed the shape of it, changed the name of it. <laughs> Today we call it ukulele. Are you familiar with it? ukulele? All of you. Are you familiar with Tiny Tim? <laughs> Again, it is called ukulele. Everyone say ukulele. 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 There you go. There's really no such thing as ukulele. <laughs> <laughs> now, I know you're all familiar with the gitter. <laughs> Both string instruments, of course, were introduced into Hawaii. We have adopted them as our own. We play them in our own unique Hawaiian style. With the arrival of new instruments like these came a new music, and what followed? A new hula, a more modern hula. We call hula awana. Everyone say hula awana. <laughs> okay, we're up on that one too. Uh, this this new hula uses other influences, not just Hawaiian. In fact, hula awana literally means to wander away from the traditional hula. So let's give you an idea of how hula has changed over the past 200 years. We would like to do for you a medley of popular songs of Hawaii today. And in the medley, we'd like to show you the different uses of the instruments introduced to you earlier. So, whereas traditional hula is fairly serious, modern hula today is uh, more entertaining and uh, as dancers get to smile as much as they want on stage. <laughs> in fact, they ever make a mistake, they just put a bigger smile on their face and keep dancing. <laughs> so, with the uh, I'd like to feature the graceful hula styles of Hua and show you modern hula, what we call hula a one. Here we go. Often, hula is mistaken for a fast hip 
shaking dance. You know the one with the girls in the grass looking skirts, wiggling their hips, also violently to the beating of drums. All of you know that's not the hula, right? At least now you do, right? That hip shaking dance is not the hula, it's not Hawaiian. It is a dance from somewhere else. Anyone have any idea? What? An intelligent group. Tahiti is so correct. Thank you for saying Tahiti. The last group said Hollywood. Yeah. <laughs> Tahiti today is located uh, right across the street, right over there. <laughs> Learn more about their hip shaking dance called the Tamude. Hope you gain a little insight to our Hawaiian culture through our Hawaiian dance called Kula. At this time, we would love to do another number for you, but that's all we know. <laughs> so we thank you for joining. Have a nice day. Mahalo, mahalo.